Hi, Michael here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to insulate a knee wall in an attic and how to do it properly using foam board and spray foam insulation. Stay tuned. So here we are in, on the second floor of this house, and as you can see, this is uh, the door to the attic. These are the knee walls. So what we're going to do is we're going to insulate the other side of this knee wall because right now there's no insulation. We'll show you what that looks like here in a second. Okay, now we're inside the attic part of the knee wall and I measured it from the door facing to the, uh, the third stud here and it's about 61 inches. We're going to do these three sections of insulation and then put a piece of foam board over them to air seal them. But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and spray some spray foam around all these penetrations here, here, in the floor, and also around the vacuum pipe over there. So you want to try to create as much of an air seal as you can in these attics. Okay, so we were just up in the attic and got our measurements for the knee wall, and now we're going to start uh, cutting the insulation up into the sections that we need to uh, insulate the knee wall. Here we go. <laughs> This is an R13 insulation that is faced. This is called the facing. This part always gets installed to the living space. Anytime you install insulation, you want to make sure you have it going to the living space. Want to see how long this is? This piece is uh, almost eight foot. So we're going to be able to cut three feet off because we're dealing with a five foot section. They make a longer knife that actually works a little better, but this is good enough. So I'm going to need four pieces. So we're going to cut three more. So now we're going to put some fiberglass in the uh, hole here. Here's the first one. We use an R13 anytime we're working in uh, with two by fours because that's about the most you can get in there. Okay, there's one and two. All right, so now we got to cut a little piece for this section here. So we got about eight inches wide. So we're going to take our insulation. Remember, always put the paper to the living space. So now we got our insulation properly installed on this section. Now I'm going to go get my foam board and then we'll put the foam board over this. Be right back. Okay, the last piece of the puzzle is putting our piece of foam board over the fiberglass bad insulation. If you are trying to air seal your knee walls, make sure you check with your local utility companies. There could be a rebate uh, for these kind of projects and check with your accounting services and uh, insulation projects and things like that might even qualify for a tax credit. So here in uh, Tennessee, we actually have a power through Tennessee Valley Authority and they offer up to a $250 a rebate for any kind of insulation work done in an attic. So make sure you check with the TVA eScore Energy Right program. So here we go. Okay, now we're going to set up our piece of foam board and install it to the wall. And we're going to nail it 
make sure we got it going all the way across to our stud. Okay, just get a couple of nails. I use roofing nails, just holds a little better. Let's tap it in there a little bit. Still trying to figure out how to improve the air quality, overall health, and efficiency of your home? Well, I got you covered. Click the link below to download my latest guide on how to make your home dry, clean, healthy, and efficient.